Loop around, Mahit spots the gap and he goes straight through. Mahit Pereira is going to go in under the post and that's the first try. Joining me in the commentary box for St. Thomas's versus Kingswood, Sudarshana Piris. Good evening, Sudarshana. Here's the Kingswood College lineup: Tarindu Ishara, Rasanjana, Madhubashana, Hevage, De Silva, Amukotua, Fernando, and uh, Ainun Ishan is the man to look out for in the number eight jersey. Take a look at the Thomian card: Mohammad Hakim, Kavisha Lenagala, Jayat Pereira, Akesh Fernando, Shevin Udugama, Resha, and Dwight, Shalin Manigasure, and Shanal Fernando. The uh, match officials today: Gihan Yatavara, Ravin Alexander, and Siamala Pitiya, the second assistant referee. Hopefully we will be able to see some skillful rugby today as uh, Iman Kaishara looks to kick this one off. Into the sun it goes and taken nicely by Reshen Dwight. Dunal Fernando, St. Thomas's Colorsman, Air Force player. Release! Hakim scored last week. Will try to be doing that again. Wanigasuria to Mahit Pereira. Nice little loop around. Mahit spots the gap and he goes straight through. Mahit Pereira is going to go in under the post and that's the first try for St. Thomas's Heads up play for Mahit Pereira. It was a nice little loop around. It was a good give from his skipper Vian De Silva. Space will be looking to punch those holes that he can see. He's uh, that kind of player. Incredible uh, asset fire off in the rugby team. Potential captain of uh, next year's cricket team as well. I'm sure coach Shamli Nawaz has rehearsed this as they feed in from the right side of the scrum. Nice little switch around. And Wanigasuri at that time, nice ball away to Navaratna as well. Bulat Singhal again with the ball over the top. And Vian De Silva will score. Well, that was beautiful to watch. It was rehearsed all right, Sanaka. They didn't know exactly what they were doing. It was a new set basketball pass to put the ball in. Here's Vanigasuria, manages to find the little offload to Navaratna. And that's Bulat Singhal again. Lovely hands from uh, the back. And it's a good kick. Uh, Chokins would call it, so they will have a free run at this one. And Ainun. A new penalty. Not rolling away is the call. It's what works. Ishara. He's there to collect it. The number eight for Kinsud. Baudwin thumps this one up in the air. And it looks like uh, there was a late charge on him. Try and see that again. Yeah, you would think that's going to be a card any day of the week. Uh, Dwight jumped on to a tackle. Nice uh, win at the front by Reshen Dwight, who's back after his 10-minute break. Again, another penalty. Holding on is the call taken quickly by De Silva. Still going, De Silva. Dragged down by the little Vikramasuria. This Anayaka now with quick ball, but it's not a good ball. Not 10 meters is the call from referee Atavara, and this might be another card for St. Thomas's if he can get a number. That was the culprit. Ye second yellow and a red. The second rower who took that tap quickly. Remember, they've got an extra man in the line. Ainun, Ainun with the big dummy. Holding him up is Hakim. Has the referee called them all? No, he hasn't, but it doesn't matter because he's over. Ishara is the man who scores. He's been doing a lot of good work for this Kingswood team. And he touches down under the posts. Well, we, we have some luck landing right in front of uh, the... Uh, Guest team as Ishara knew exactly where the ball was. Conviction as Ishara adds in the extras. 10 points to 14. St. Thomas's. This Anaika will look to settle things down. And Imanka Ishara will probably hope to get this one out. Two knock ons one from Navaratna, one from the oncoming player.
And uh, Comedy of Errors finishes off that half. And since that red card, both teams have let the blood rush to their head. Half-time confirmation, 14 points to 10 St. Thomas's. Reduced to 14 men, just as their score suggests. Don't want to miss one second of this pouring rain. Pleasing my soul. With one more bite of rebel for the rain. Welcome back to second half action live from the big club grounds at St. Thomas's, where Kingswood had their tails up at half time. And that seems to be a high tackle again by this defensive unit from Kingswood, which has been very good despite just a few of those errors. Another big tip tackle, but brought down safely. Again, Kasturi Arachi not able to link up that play. And that tip tackle means that Rasanjana will go to the bin. Nice channeling from straight through the gap goes Mahit Pereira. And does it once again. The Tomian triple colorsman. For the Tomians, uh, as Mahit Pereira touches down for his second of the game. Little show and go for a moment. Uh, and make sure that they put pressure on the Tomians. Galloping run by the uh, second row forward. Now straight through goes Imanka Ishara. Only Ulat Singhala again to beat and adds it off to Baudouin and he goes under the post. Something from nothing. An absolutely brilliant try from Kingswood. Brilliant play from Imanka Ishara. Again, reminding you that we are in front of uh, Jubilant Kingswood and so we now where the correct number was not uh, was not uh, told to the referee. Here's a run from here again. That was a brilliant bit of work because he took five defenders in with him. It was quick ball for this Anayaka. Lovely handoff. And this is Baudwin. Iman Kishara rather. Didn't give that one, gave that one unselfishly. And Baudwin went in under the post. So, Sena Ratna picks and goes quickly. Nice work, nice defense by Ainun. Referee Atavara in good position and just over the line goes St. Thomas's. Tell you who it was in the moment. Looked like it might be Elis Pereira. Senaratna did as he did against Wesley, taking it quickly and going towards the line. Needs to adjust his body position a bit if he's going to make a habit of that. There they are latching on and over the line. It looked like it was with the conversion to come. And no problem with that as well. 28 17, nine point cushion. Azmi managed to recover that ball quickly. And here's Ainu. Lovely ball to Hevage. Hevage with plenty of power. Unfortunately for Hevage, he loses the ball. There's no amount of. Uh, Praying hands that's going to save Chanal Fernando there. Good defensive work by St. Thomas's, meeting him in a wall of blue defense. Here's a little bit of space opening up and just done enough. Did Kure to push Sikurajapati out into touch, and that is pretty much the end of the game. But unfortunately, a few crucial mistakes at crucial times in this game meant that the ball and the match just slipped away from them. But uh, both teams spilling their heart out, uh, but uh, the Thomians will be the happier and the most relieved one. Uh, four tries, four conversions for St. Thomas's College, 28 points in their bank and a bonus point for them as well. Kinsford College, two tries, both converted, the penalty adding up to 17 points will go back to candy thinking absolutely what if yeah, your embrace so warm with one more bite of revel for sunshine